This video is brought to you by Answerly, a question platform that pays you for adding high quality answers on different questions. The users are rewarded in Answerly tokens, which they can easily convert into dollars or any other cryptocurrency by using one of the exchanges mentioned in the description. In order to get uh, to the tournament in a very calm state. A monitor is one of the most important peripherals you'll purchase for your PC or laptop. You'll use it every time you sit down at your computer and like other devices, monitors rarely wear out or become entirely obsolete. The monitor you buy today could easily be the monitor you use for a decade from now, which is why it's important to find one with all you need. Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about some of the best gaming monitors under $200. If you're new here, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notifications bell to get updates whenever we post. Many people have difficulty deciding which monitor is the best provided they're buying it in the 200 USD range for computer gaming, homework, office, video editing, photo editing, graphic design, programming, and so on. When considering the best gaming monitor for you, there are a number of key factors to keep in mind. The size and resolution of your monitor are naturally the most central features to look at, but refresh rates and response time are also imperative to ensuring a truly immersive and enjoyable gaming experience. Therefore, we discussed a $200 budget in this video and listed some of the best monitors for your needs and work. Let's start off with our first one, AOC Agen C24 G1A. The AOC Agen C24 G1A brings some extra speed to the sub $200 market. Although its price can sometimes be a few dollars over $200, depending on where you buy the monitor. The 24 inch 1080p display isn't offering much in terms of size or resolution, but it's an effective pairing and the resolution makes it all the easier to have your system push for the display's max 165Hz refresh rate, which comes smoothed out with FreeSync Premium. The fact AOC could still bother to set the AOC C24 G1A onto a highly flexible stand at this price is a big bonus. The display itself is a stunningly colorful curved VA panel with fairly compelling contrast ratios compared to what's found in most IPS panels. It's punching well above its weight class for color gamut and accuracy, even offering exceptional uniformity across the display. But where it's still visually excel, it struggles a bit with motion. Ghosting can be a bit extreme in the wrong conditions, and no overdrive settings fix that. But it isn't always distracting in games and beats Coronas. Monoprice Dark Matter 42770 The Monoprice Dark Matter 42770 offers bright, punchy visuals. Its color accuracy is astounding for a monitor at this price, let alone when considering that it comes alongside gaming performance on a 144Hz panel. The minimal ghosting makes this a solid option for gamers looking for clarity while they play without worrying about how much they'll have to pay. The design of the monitor also makes it a worthy addition to your desk. The stand is sturdy and doesn't let the monitor wiggle too much, and its wide legs won't occupy too much desk space. Monoprice also includes a wide port variety with two HDMI ports and a display port. The USB-C port with 15 watt power delivery is icing on the cake as it's easy to use for charging up a phone or even plugging into a laptop or phone to use for a display. And Monoprice includes all necessary cables with the monitor to truly maximize its value. An effective joystick for menu navigation and some subtle red accent lights round out the experience. BenQ EW2780 the BenQ EW2780 is a nice utilitarian monitor. It comes on a pretty straightforward stand that only offers vertical tilt adjustments, but you can always swap it over to a face amount. Three HDMI ports lets you set it up with multiple devices, though display port is notably lacking here. For a neater setup, the included basic 25 watt speaker are helpful, although they aren't loud enough to fill a room and can be a bit harsh when maxed out. The display panel itself isn't overly exciting but it offers what it promises. In our testing, it actually exceeded BenQ's specs in some regards. It managed to cover 97% of the sRGB color space and pulled off an average color accuracy of DE.74, which means this monitor has excellent color accuracy for the price. At max brightness, it can even provide a contrast ratio of 1110 is to 1. The uniformity of the display could be a bit better, but it's not noticeable or unreasonable for a display in this price bracket. The monitor provides some headroom for higher refresh rates, going up to 75Hz. It's not blisteringly fast, but 25% extra smoothness never hurts. It can also run FreeSync. 
just don't expect the HDR feature to do much for you. The display isn't that bright and enabling the HDR mode just saturated the colors to the point of making the display wildly inaccurate. HP VH240A The HP VH240A stands out as the most flexible monitor of the options we've tested for this roundup. Its claim to fame is its highly adjustable stand or tilt options. It's one of the only monitors in this price range that offers a combination of panel tilting, adjustable height, and portrait rotation. This means you can easily find a comfortable viewing position, which is important if you work from home. You're also getting a 24-inch screen, an IPS panel, 1080p resolution, and pretty respectable response times, 5 millisecond for an IPS-equipped LCD monitor. Overall, this gives the VH240A widespread appeal, and the display works well in most situations. The monitor's major flaw is what it shares with other affordable IPS monitors, contrast ratio. This monitor can't display deep black levels, yet isn't all that bright either, so it struggles to deliver a sense of depth in movies and games. If you need a good monitor for work, however, the HP VH240A is an excellent choice. And lastly, our best overall gaming monitor under $200. Samsung LC24F390 FHNXZA The Samsung's 24-inch 390 series monitor is the best computer monitor you can buy in its price range. The C24F390 wins the nod thanks to its image quality, which clearly beats most monitor in its class. Its advantage comes thanks to the contrast ratio of its vertical alignment display panel. This monitor can display deep, inky black levels in scenes for most budget monitors only show a hazy, disappointing gray. Yet, it's also much brighter than competitors who tested in everyday use. You might not notice the C24F390's advantage when editing a spreadsheet, but it's obvious in movies and games which look vibrant and crisp. Thankfully, the C24F390 doesn't sacrifice other elements of image quality in the name of contrast. It has a reasonable color gamut, passable color accuracy, and decent image uniformity, tying the competition in each area. It also has 1080p resolution, which on a 24-inch display looks fairly sharp from a typical viewing distance. The display has a slight curve, which makes it look sleek, but doesn't change the experience of using it. There's only one downside, and that's the stand. It feels flimsy, only just for tilt, and it's too short to be comfortable for most users. The monitor does have a standard vase amount, so you can add a third-party stand for better ergonomics. Overall, the C24F390 simply outperforms its peers. If you need an ergonomic stand, would still recommend buying this monitor and purchasing a $25 stand to add to it later. The C24F390 will still be a better value than the alternatives and makes for a value-packed way to brighten up your workstation. There you have it. Hopefully, we helped you decide which monitor is ideal for you. We advise you to go through reviews of any monitor that you're considering. You can save a lot of money while buying a monitor if you wait for sales and discounts. You should check for reviews online if you want to go for a specific model. Another thing to consider is the dimensions of the monitor so that it fits into your space exactly. What is your favorite product in our list? Did one of your picks make it in our list? Let us know which gaming monitor under $100 you have in mind and share your thoughts about it in the comment section down below. If you like this video, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe to this channel. To learn more about Anterly and Anterly tokens, check out the links in the description.